I'm Dan Galusha and welcome to another edition of Shoot and Plank. Today we're going to be doing, I guess you would call it kind of a request. Uh, there was a young man got in touch with me in regards to the Umarex NXG. It just so happened he watched, I guess, a couple of the videos that I did on this gun. Probably the last one that I had done, which was the second time around review. And I guess he kind of got hooked on it because he asked his mom to get him one for his birthday. Well, what he had is a question about the fact that I wasn't shooting from a bench. He's watched a lot of other videos, and some of mine even. Uh, I've shot from a bench, but not many. He wondered why I wasn't shooting BBs in it, since it shoots both pellets and BBs, and uh, why I can't put it on a bench, because he'd really like to see what it would do. So what we're going to do today is we are going to shoot BBs, um, no, I don't like shooting BBs. It is a rifled barrel. I would prefer not to because uh, I, I don't want any damage to those riflings. It makes it much more accurate, thus pellets are more accurate than BBs in most cases. If you're shooting it for really good accuracy with a BB, go with a good brand, uh, one that's uh, got a reputation of having very, very round BBs, nothing oddball shaped. And what I use is I use a couple of different types. In fact, in here we're going to be using the Umarex Steel Babies. Um, and that's what the container looks like right there. And another one that I use, and this is the one that I use if I really, really want to be accurate, is the Hornady Black Diamonds. I really like those. And another thing I'm going to talk to you about, uh, because he was asking about targets. Well, yeah, you can plank, which we're going to do some planking in a little bit. But first we're going to shoot at the target to see just what sort of a grouping or whatever that we get. And you will notice I don't have the regular bench rest like you have. Uh, I gave that away, in fact. Just didn't use it enough. And another gentleman could use it. Uh, so what I've done is I've gone with an Allen bag type, which will work just as well. And if you want to save money more, if you get something like a sandbag, even pillows. Uh, you know, you don't have to put a lot of money. And that's what I'm going to talk to you about on targets. Some of these targets really can get expensive, especially these shoot and sees. Now, they are a nice deal. And you can make your own, but that's an entirely different video. So I'm going to show you a target here. In fact, we're going to be using one of them today. You can print up a couple of them. And these are regular air gun targets. And you can tell this is scratch paper because it's got something already on it. Uh, and that's the best thing to do is to use like your scrap deal. And once you shoot them up, then put them into recycling. Uh, and these are free. They're, in fact, the website is downloaded. It says more free targets from. And they're um, what it's called TomGirling.com in UK hobby. So they have got the site for there's a lot of different ones that you can get free but these happen to be air gun targets and we're going to be shooting at from 10 meters because i've got my range set up in meters so we're going to shoot this at 10 meters and we're going to see what happens uh, i'm going to stick that down there i'm probably going to shoot at the top target on this i was just looking that's the one that's even got the lines through it from something else so uh, let's turn this camera around so you can see the target and I've already got these loaded uh, again this is this has got capabilities of BBs and pellets pellets you shoot one at a time you put them in one at a time the BBs there is a reservoir and I probably got that loaded with 25 30 we're not going to fire that many at this target maybe only five to ten I, I don't know and then we'll do some plinking so let's get this turned around and start shooting I got you zoomed in on that top one. Now bear with me because you know I'm going to have to pump between times because this is a pumping thing. We're going to take the at the top target, see what we got going here. And you can always take your safety off. Of course, this automatically puts it on, as you know. So. Four pumps in it, by the way. Gotta remember, 
take that safety off. of those we'll be able to see a grouping on see what happened uh, now let's do a little bit of planking okay I got the target set up and while I was there I looked at the paper I'm not all that happy with the grouping I got I'll tell you that but we'll see what we do on the planking I'm gonna go after plastic bottles first and reason being we've got a wind and so I want to make sure that I get them shot beforehand those green labels that's what I'm shooting for and we'll see if we got those afterwards see the cake cups down below. We'll see what we can do with them. Got it. Just didn't fall off. hitting that thing and maybe we're out. Yep. Yeah, there's another one here somewhere. There we go. Take a shot at that 
last one down the bottom because I think that other one's hit. So, let's take a look at the target now. Okay, now let's take a look at some of the targets. Uh, first, I got these right here, and before the wind blows them off, we're going to take a look at that. You know, I told you I was shooting at the labels. That's what I always do. I shoot right at the center of the label, and uh, there's that one right there. Put it right in the middle, come right out there. So that's what I wanted. The uh, wind's really picking up, as you can tell. Here's another one right in the center of the label. So it's hitting right on where I'm wanting it. Uh, here's another one, center of the label, and that's what I always shoot at. If you're ever shooting at these water bottles, that makes a perfect target. Just shoot right in the middle of that label. That way it's not just plinking bottles, it's giving you a target to shoot at too. Now, let's take a look at the other one where it shows a grouping. I'm not happy with this, uh, but it is BB, and it probably would have a lot better grouping if it wasn't for the fact it was BB. And it, it's really kind of all over the place. I got two up here. There's one, two, three right in here. There's a grouping right in this area of one, two, three, four, five, six, maybe seven BBs right in this area, right down in here. Uh, I mean, I'm looking at it backwards, but you can see how that is, and I can feel them. So it did have a grouping. Uh, if you were shooting, if I was shooting more towards the center, which I really was, I was trying to hit that center. But with the pellets, I bet with a pellet it would have probably got it. Like I said, pellets are just much more accurate. I'd rather shoot one in this than having them all loaded up with BBs. Now, I probably won't shoot BBs for a long time in this thing again. Um, I'm just sure that it, you know, it would do better. I don't know. but. In fact, I know, I do know, that I know the thing would shoot better. And he's got some other questions, too, on some firearms, but I'm going to leave that for another video, and then we're going to talk about that and and how you can save a little bit of money, because he's wanting to save up his money and, and get a regular 22, which, as I said, uh, we'll talk about later. But this is an excellent gun for him and anybody else that is starting out to shoot with. Um, this is... You know, like I said, it does have the capability of BBs and pellets, but I would prefer the pellets. It also teaches you a little bit more towards the firearm end of things because a pellet is more like a bullet that would be in a 22. Um, so anyway, hopefully that helps the young man and uh, also anybody else that has the same situation. And until next time, shoot safe and have a great day of planking. <laughs>